Okay, now work energy and power. Um, it's the topic for question five way two for this question paper in November two thousand and eighteen. Right now, Lana, it's question five. In the description below, you'll find my links for other questions in my pendulum for this same question paper. Now, level question five, but an object of mass one point eight kilograms slides down a rough slides down a rough curve the track and passes point a which is 1.5 meters above the ground at a speed of 0 0.95 uh, meters per second <clears throat> now the object reaches point b at the bottom of the track at a speed of four meters per second so yeah it makes sense with the, the object at point a even at the speed and then because of my figure like curve lena right is all gain a more speed right due to the guy gravity and then a reach a point b with a speed of um, with an increased speed of four meters per second right um 5.1 define the term consecutive force a consecutive force um a consecutive force it includes more forces like abu gravitational force because of a gravitational force is a force for which the work done is independent of the path taken. Like Mautatok Begabu friction as well as of applied force. The work done the work done it depends on the amount not the amount but the path taken. Right? But the gravity doesn't depend on the path on the path taken path taken or the the route taken so you know it's always acting but the other forces of friction of applied force they all depend on ilogai on e on the path taken during the motion now 5.2 name the consecutive force acting on the object um consecutive force there's only one consecutive force acting lana 5.2 which is gravitational force 5.3 is mechanical energy conserved as the object slides from point a to point b choose from yes or no give a reason for the answer okay 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 mechanical energy is conserved in an isolated system where there are there are no external forces but in our case mautatok pega um, for the path A to B, we have a rough curved track, right? We have a rough curved track. So now we rough track here to so it's over a friction for sure. So now the system is no longer isolated, meaning the mechanical energy, but um, mechanical energy basically it's kinetic energy and potential energy. So the mechanical energy is not conserved because of the object slides. As it slides from A to B, because of the object, they lose the energy due to any a frictional force. So for 5.3 CT, uh, CT no, um, I just provide a reason. I think I gave one already. Um, there is a non consecutive force, it's because of any a friction. 5.4. Calculate the gravitational potential energy of the object when it was at point A. Um, okay, this question, it wasn't that difficult. It's a straightforward one. So, Lana, um, well, it's a straightforward one, but the, I think there's some value from this, from this, from this question five. Um, so, Lana, I get the potential energy at point A is equal to mass times gravitational acceleration times height right so as with the mass is given it's 1.8 gravitational acceleration is 9.8 and then the height is 1.5 let us calculate let us calculate 1.8 times 9.8 times 1.5 is equal to 26.46 26.46 let us see and uh, i answer it okay it's 26.46 joules it's 26.46 joules 
uh, so this is our answer for 5.4 5.5 using energy principles using our energy principles uh, but in, using our energy principles I'll explain Lana okay for those of us um, calculate the work done by friction on the object as it slides from point A to B. Now, to use our energy principles, you can either use a, a, a formula for a man, uh, work done by non-consecutive forces, or you can use E work energy theorem. It's either work energy theorem or work done by ama non-consecutive forces so there's two ways or even three yeah even three even three ways of doing this problem so meaning is tata this one for work done by ama work done by a non-consecutive force right using um using ama energy principles calculate the work done by by friction friction is a non-consecutive force on the object as it slides from point A to one to point B. Or you can go use Ilogai work energy theorem. You can also calculate the work done by friction. Um, so for 5.5, this is your calculator, the work done by friction. Right, 5.5, okay. Work done by non-consecutive force is equal to the change in kinetic energy plus the change in potential energy. So, Pegagela. OP is our final position. OA is our initial position. Now, for the change in kinetic energy, uh, for the change in kinetic energy, it's um, half m v b squared or v final squared minus half m v a squared or initial v initial squared plus m g h b final minus m g h a initial right um so lana ga sizothi eh sizothi ke manje all right ni avoid ngizam ngifuna ukuthi avoid something where we find ourselves in a situation where Komelu substitute we substitute lana Komelu substitute this mass we substitute a mass la we substitute mass we substitute mass we substitute g and then you do the same nala and then Komelu palo half again and again and again so um lento leo it's something it's got the line is cut during an exam so in Tonga Yenza, you can take out the common factor. Aha, so apply my math skills. We are taking out the common factor for here, the first bracket, as well as a common factor on the second bracket. I believe we or if we express it this way, um Guba Guba Yenza in life ibe lula right yenzi life is simple during an exam so into a value yens just take out the common factor la if you are using this formula so that to value substitute to m guy one substitute to m guy one right we substitute the g guy one instead of plugging in g plugging in g so so is yenza in this in this video so, so t half half the mass one comma eight and then uv over vb is four so it's four squared minus uva is zero comma nine five squared uh, close bracket plus uh, um, one comma eight and then nine comma eight oh, okay 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 ah okay um, I'm thinking like okay since on the previous question we calculated the e the potential energy at point a right so instead in this ngayenza singavele substitute the potential energy at a and I know what the potential energy at b is what is zero la. so instead we think substitute again no 1.8 mask um, gravitational acceleration was the end of that way or we can just continue and substitute la. So, 
um, height b is 0 minus height at a is 1 comma 5 now let's be cool instead of doing the so you can just say the gravitational potential energy at b is 0 minus the gravitational potential energy at a this value so 26 comma 46 marvel we pale so instead of doing this we are going to makes life easier that way so this uh, is a half 1 over 2 bracket 1 comma 8 close open another bracket 4 squared minus 0 comma 95 squared close bracket plus 1 comma 8 close open 9 comma 8 open 0 minus 1.5 close bracket our answer is minus 12.87 so our answer line is minus 12.87 joules why is the answer negative why anti negative yeah. Hmm, it's because of the work done by friction. It's a negative value, it shows that the system here it's losing energy, right? If it's a plus, the system is gaining some energy, but if it's a negative, we are losing energy. So that's why answer here to E in negative it tells us what the friction is doing negative work. Now, surface BC in the diagram above is frictionless. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so lob roughness sebu peli leg in my sea PC where everything is run smooth. 5.6 and it's our last question. Yes. Aha. Okay. 5.6. What is the value of the network done on the object as it slides from B to Bunny to C? As it slides from B to um, what is the value of the network done on the object as it slides? But Hinda, what is the value of the oh okay? What is the value of the network done on the object as it slides from B to C? So Napala Hupila, let me see. Okay. Nine tens ago, okay. I think in Zoom Pala five point six. Our five point six. Our answer lana the net work done a CT. Let's say work in Zanmar. Okay. W net is equal to zero joules. Why? Why is it zero joules? Because of the object as it slides from B to C, there's no force acting. No applied force, no gravitational force um, influencing the motion of the object. There's no friction, there's nothing. So it's frictionless, no applied force, nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. So there's no network done because of agnama forces are active on the system anymore between UB and C. So our question, Ipelelalana, our question five ends here. Um, in the description box, is a Tolama links for other videos you want to for this question paper. Um, so for now, as for now, the next one, but don't go to like, don't go to subscribe, don't go to share, and don't go back as well. Um, I would really appreciate that, guys. Um, and thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, as for now, the next video. Bye bye.